Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lesson, we will start to code our Bootstrap 5 template and we will start with navigation menu. Now let's go back and check our Bootstrap documentation and look what we have. From the documentation, I'll come to components and then later nowhere. When you use front-end libraries like Bootstrap, Foundation or Semantic UI, you have to check the documentation regularly because with these libraries, you are using predefined codes and the implementation of these codes can change. For example, let's look the implementation of Nowbar. And here is our sample navigation var. And below, you can find its code. Now, I will open the documentation of Bootstrap 4.3. I will come here and get bootstrap.com again. And from previous release, I will open this 4.3. Again, I am going to components and then nowbar. So when you check these nowbar codes, this is from Bootstrap 5 and this is from Bootstrap 4.3. When you look in detail, you can see that this search area is done by form class, form inline predefinite class. But here at Bootstrap 5, for example, this form class has d-flex predefinite class. In general, every version of Bootstrap, they could change these predefinite classes. So always we have to open our documentation in front of us when we are creating a web bootstrap 5 project now i close this 4.3 documentation and now let's turn back our nowbar this is a sample nowbar code when you are working with bootstrap in my opinion try to use always these code snippets because we don't need to reinvent the wheel again for this reason we won't write the navigation menu from scratch I copy this file, I am copying this and coming again beside H1, I paste this navigation menu. Now I open my browser and when I save my file, at right you see that we implement a nowbar easily. Now we will customize this nowbar regarding our request. First I will change this nowbar expand LG class to nowbar expand L. MD because with nowbar expand LG class our nowbar will stay collapsed at large screen so I will change this from LG to MD MD means medium here we will speak large screen and medium screen in detail later now you can see the nowbar open now I will come below and I don't need this form so I erase this form Later, I don't need this disabled LI. I erase it. Be careful, don't erase this UL. Later, I will also erase this drop down. I don't need this drop down. And save the file. Now, this is the updated version of our nowbar. Now, I will update a link five times more. I copy it with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. One, two, three, four five times now i will update this link with my values the second link will be about the third one third one will be latest next block and the other one is approach and next one is team and the last one is contact and i save the file and this is our navigation menu i also change home this will be capital letters also. Oh. Okay, now updated our navigation menu. Let's make this screen a little bit wider. And with wider screen, you see that our navigation menu is covering all the rows. But I wanted some spaces at left and at right. For this reason, I changed this container fluid from container fluid to container class and save it. When you come back our project and you see that some spaces there at left and at right. In our navigation menu, you see that there is no space between nowbar and this navigation menu. But 
I want that this navigation menu stay at right. So I will come to my project and this is MA Auto class. This is the abbreviation of margin and auto. I will change it with MS Auto class. This is a margin start auto. And when you save the file at wider screen, you can see that our navigation menu now at right. When we make our screen larger, be careful that the height of our navigation is changing. I am making a little bit larger and you see that here, here in this breakpoint, the height is changing because of this MB2 and MBLG0. I erased these classes, save the file. Now the height of our navigation menu is stable. But I want to add a little bit padding here. I will come to now class and I add this uh, py3 and save the file. Now the height of our navigation menu is higher. More or less we finish the markup of our navigation menu but I will change this from navbar to elisoft. Also I want to change the background color of this navigation menu. To change this background I will use predefinite utility classes. Let's go back to our documentation again. From utilities, from utilities you can see that colors and here you can find the predefinite colors for bootstrap text bg primary bg secondary i will use this bg danger beside bg light i copy this bg danger with control c and i came here i paste here bg danger but of course without dot save the file and now you see that we have a nice reddish background and also i want that this text is a kind of white color for this reason I change my navbar light class from navbar light to navbar dark. Save the file and now we finished our navigation menu. This is the end of today's lesson. We will continue in the next lesson.